can get that going. Honestly, we can open up shop. We can totally open up shop. I have no qualms with that because we have plenty of stuff. So keep the meat high. All get right. that going for ourselves. Got what? One of six left? Wow. They cleared us out there. Okay. Going upstairs with the next plate of pies. So that's taken care of. You're doing measurements. Are you doing measurements? No, you're not. You are ending this person so we can get five cloth. After you're done with that, go ahead and get this. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait. Oh, that's stupid. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We don't need that because we don't have another mannequin. That was stupid. Grab the... Ah! It reads my click so well. Guess we can go get some more pies. All right, you know what? We'll keep our supply up. So we'll grab somebody here. No, grab somebody here. Who is this? Good morning, Miss Percival. Am I too early? The shop still seems to be closed. Good morning. Not at all, Lady Ellisweden. Please, do come in. Were you in need of a new dress? Yes, I have an appointment. Please, be my guest. Go in front of the mirror. I'll be right there in a moment. Who is this? I mean, I'm cleaned up, so it's not like she's gonna find blood. This must be the place. That trap door. Those clothes. Oh my god. Everything Jack told me was true. Should I tell him anything? I don't know how he'll react. I'm here for one reason. I won't mess this up. I'm confused. She knows what's going on. Here I am. Let's get to work. Um, and who's Jack? I was thinking something delicate. Maybe in light blue tones. Also, she's really brave. She knows what's going on here. The fact that she came in this room knowing that what he does is usually le leading to people's deaths. Brave woman. Is this dress for a special occasion? If you don't mind my asking. Uh, funeral. Well then, if I may offer my opinion, I'm not sure light blue is particularly suitable for a funeral. It won't matter. In fact, I don't think anyone will say anything to me. I will be the one laying in the coffin. Boss? What do you mean? I'm dying, and there's nothing that can be done. I'm already roaming this world like a ghost. I would kill myself, but I'm not brave enough to do such a thing. Oh my gosh, is she about to ask what- oh boy. If only someone could free me from this burden. Is asking to die without suffering too much? But maybe... This is gonna be a suffer, just so you know, this is a suffering way to do this. Hi, I'm sorry, but I need to interrupt you, Percival. I have something to show you downstairs. I'm working, Hildred. Like, free meat right here, Hildred. Like, the grocery store walked into us. Please, Percival, you need to come with me. I'm sure you can set another appointment for the lady. You were just starting anyway. Maybe it was a mistake coming here. I'm so sorry. You just lost steak, just so you know. Free steak just walked out. I have to go now. Sorry for wasting your time. Plus, it's dangerous that she knows what happens here, so he's probably like, we should probably get rid of that problem before it becomes a bigger problem. Was she all right? Why do you care? You already ripped out of the meeting. Did you traumatize her somehow? I haven't touched her. She said that she is dying of a disease. Poor soul. Wait, you can't eat that. That's. A, I, I imagine that whatever's in her meat is not going to be good for people to eat. Anyway, what's so important? Let's go. I'll show you. Hopefully I didn't kill the wrong person. Oh, plenty of pies. I like that it's showing what we had left. So it's the camera's just moving through the game world as we left it. So, do you like it? What? Don't you notice anything new? Hmm. No. Look up there. I put up some flowers. I can't believe she interrupted him for some flowers. Like, what if you... That's hilarious. Oh, I see. They are nice. They add a, a certain um, aromi 
smell, aromi. They add a certain uh, fragrance to the air that's not just ass. I decided to put some decorations in here. Customers will appreciate it. Now they have something to look at while they wait. Do you like it? It's a good start, but you definitely need something more. Did you seriously interrupt me for this? Yes, this is really important. We'll make customers happier. Fine. Go back to killing. Apparently that's the only thing you enjoy. Not the only one. Oh, uh-oh, about to get freaky deaky over murder. Nothing like, nothing like stabbing a few people to get you the blood boiling, to get that aphrodisiac, you know, in your system. And we're back to it. They don't spend a lot of time with each other. Neglected, uh, neglect, neglected relationship. I almost want to go through one more round just to get to this 50, man. We're so close. It's so hard to get to 50. Can we buy something that would help that? Oh, we can do decorations now. Decorate the pub to increase... Uh, we don't need to increase their patience. Food is usually always there. More space in the display. Huh? I still don't know what the table thing is. Um, We do need a new mannequin. That is for sure. Really want to get... The stakes going. I feel like that would help us a lot. Maybe we should just go through one more time. Yeah, let's get the expensive things, and then we can get the, the smaller stuff later. So we'll go through one more time the way things are so that we can get some steaks going. Making meat pies in the basement. Making meat pies in the basement. Making meat pies. It's my favorite thing to do in the basement. Bloody meat pies. Get some cloth going. Okay, get that started. Nice, grab that meat pie. Meat pies are done. Meat pies up! Do, 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 do. Uh oh, I don't have anything on my mannequin. Gotta move faster. Need more sewing stuff. I can get more mannequins and stuff like that. Let me get some more money going in here. You can tailor her, dude. I don't even care. I don't feel like doing more bodies. We got plenty of bodies down here. You're free to go. I hope you enjoy your suit. Let's see if we get money for tailoring. Hi. Yep, you're free to leave. Didn't get any money. Okay, that's interesting. So it's more beneficial to actually kill them than to let them live. I mean, obviously, but like not even like a parcel, like 50 cents for that? Something? It's a job still. What last client? Somebody's came in. Yeah, nobody even came in. Last client and nobody came in. Help me, please. Are you the one that's gonna help us at this job? Have you seen my pants? My mother, my mother. I can't find my mother. What's wrong, little one? Um... My mom left yesterday because she needed to patch a coat, but she never came back. Hmm. My husband certainly didn't see her. Maybe something happened to her before she got here. These are strange times, my little boy. It's dangerous to be walking around the city alone. Now, come on, get out of here. I need to open up shop soon. But madam, please, I'm really hungry. Don't you have anything to give me? Okay, so this is Sweeney Todd, got it. So this is going to be the little boy. All right, I think I have some leftovers. Feeding them humans. I wonder, I think they eat, because you never see them eat the, the actual owners. I wonder if they eat these meat pies too. Thank you so much, madam. You are an angel. Goodbye. Go to live on the street. And even today, I am sure of a place in heaven. Probably not, gonna be honest with you. Don't think heaven is what's waiting for you. Then again, you know, thou shalt not pass judgment. Who knows? Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Let's see here. No minus points. They didn't get any mixed orders. Really? We had sausage up there. Whatever. Um, Let's get that steak going now, right? Boom. 
stakes are now in the building. Also, if there's anything we can do with the Taylor Lab, that'd be great to help out. Can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. I need that mannequin, dude. Um, oh, unlock an additional workbench, which would be another tray. Yeah, definitely grab that. That would make things a lot easier for me. And we're good. New recipes unlocked. Talk to me. What is the steak recipe? Oh, you can make a platter of just meats, too. But the steak is... How do we get the steak, though? Huh. Sausages, steak, and that provides, like, meat, but it doesn't show how to get the steaks. Interesting. Where is it at? Where is the steak maker at? That's a door. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's get the shop going, but first I want to... I want to try out the steak machine or do we put the body over there and you have to make a cut of i'm curious actually it may work more like the meat grinder where you have to put the body on this thing yep it's a steak cutter you're making steaks out of the bodies oh boy out of the head a pie or a meatball what will be your destiny oh Oh, yeah. Nope. This is just as sick as the meat grinder. I was going to say, oh, the meat grinder is worse than this. No, she goes in depth with... Oh, my gosh. And this is just for one steak? There's a lot of meat that was thrown in there for one steak. Oh, four. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We did that, I guess. But we still have to use one tray for this. Why can't I get another tray? All right. Well, making steaks. I guess we can go ahead and open up shop, really. We're already 6 to 6, so yeah, we gotta open up shop. And let the mad rush begin for our new stakes. He's on his task. You got that. Put a steak on there. I'm very curious to see what this makes. It's just a meat platter, I guess. Maybe that'll help our reputation. Nope, wait, it's not. What is it? What's the recipe again for it? Sausages, meat grinded meat. And a sausage. We have to... Ah, uh, I might have messed this up already. Um... Yeah, I think I messed this up. I don't know what this is going to make. Probably nothing because we mixed that up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I didn't make anything. Okay, so that was a waste. So we need the sausage first. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay, so grab the sausage first. Make the sausage. And then when you grab the sausage, you put that in there. You make your actual sausage. Put on over here. Don't need to do anything there. Just going to take this. Grab this, put this over here. Come on, 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 come on. All right, got our sausage that doesn't look like a sausage. That smells so good. Good, 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 good. Grab this. You can't do anything else, right? This has to be it. Yeah, I can't do that. Oh, okay. So that's not how you make it. All right, I don't know how we make that yet, then. And that put me behind too, so that sucks. Oh well. All right. All right. There's plenty of food there. Grab this. Throw that over there. We have bodies. We have two. This is fine. You're fine. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Do whatever you were doing. I don't care. Meat pies. Grab a body, make some more steaks. Oh, cool. All these. Fast as I can. Masterpiece. Nice. 
more cloth. She's got to smell like ass, right? She's around dead bodies. She's touching dead bodies. She's mutilating dead bodies. And she's cooking dead bodies. She's got to smell terrible. Not that everybody smelled good in the 1800s in Victorian London anyway, but... Ugh. Ugh. All right. Guess we're just waiting for more people. This just takes such a long time to do. That's why you got to get this one done when there's like a lull period. He gets a lot of lull period. All right. You took care of that. Yeah, that was the day. I don't even think we made it. Oh, look. Plus 320. Still nothing on the mixed orders. What are we doing wrong there? Another mail. All right, my dear colleagues, as I already mentioned in a previous letter, I've been observing your steps for a long time, and to be honest, you intrigued me even before arriving here at Heather Blue Lake. When it comes to food, there is no place unknown to me. This is how I knew you had a little shop in Merseyside where you made a lot of money. Unfortunately, something went wrong at some point along the way, and the local competition accused you of selling rat meat, damaging your business's reputation. I remember seeing the news in all the local papers and knew it would not be long before the authorities launched an investigation. Then suddenly, a fire. I do wonder which one of you came up with that brilliant idea. Your previous shop turned to rubble, nothing left beside ashes and two unrecognizable corpses wearing the owner's clothes. They thought you were dead, but I suppose by the time all this happened, you had already boarded your train. Brilliant! I must confess that I almost fell for it too. Later, a mysterious couple, priding themselves on offering the best meat pies in town, opened up a new shop in Southfolk. Many of my friends had said that you could even enjoy the pleasant company of the landlady, a beautiful woman. It could have all just been one big coincidence, two different couples in two different places, and there would have been nothing odd about any of it, but something did not quite add up to me. My suspicions were confirmed when the shop in Southfolk closed down. You were spotted leaving in a hurry with very little luggage. Did someone uncover your secret? And here we are now at Hither Blue Lake. The same story. A foreign couple cooking delicious food. I did my research in an attempt to see things crystal clear once and for all. And as I observed you, I was not surprised to notice that not all of the customers who entered your shop also left. I do not blame you for your practices. After all, it is hard to find high quality meat these days. Thanks, I guess. I mean, upgrade wise, I just need another space with a, uh, a platter. That's it. That's all I really need. So yeah, that will help a lot. Where's the additional spot at? Oh, we got three. Thank you. That's exactly what we needed. You have steaks. Let me look at this recipe one more time. Yeah, I guess we just don't have the sausages yet. Okay. And I can also see, like, we can have all the, uh, the accoutrements and all the fancy stuff that we want at the bottom here. But eventually, he's only one person that can only kill one person. So, like, our supply chain is narrow we need more supply coming in if that makes sense eventually all right what do you have going on here uh let's do uh, uh i guess we'll do some pies i haven't done pies in a while i had something cooking while we were doing all that too i mean we're almost at the end of the day though so we should be okay hey 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 pay attention to my click my click thank you as fast as i can we got one thing up there now uh Fix this. And the day's done. He's back. It's about time. I'm going inside. You wait for me here. Don't try to run away. People are disappearing in this neighborhood. If I were you, I wouldn't stray too far. All right, Mr. Elliot, I'll wait right here for you. He's from Texas. Gotta get those scissors real sharp and nice, you know what I'm saying? Don't mind the smell. Welcome back, Mr. Elliot. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Passivel. Please, take your place in front of the mirror. I like people who don't waste my time. You ain't got that much time left, so you're gonna love me. I'm leaving in a few days, my friend. This time, I'm heading to a dangerous place full of wild beasts. I will need my best rifle. They could pounce on me before I even notice. Ravenous and wonderful creatures. I prefer them hanging over my fireplace, though. I'm sure you understand my meaning, Percival. Yes, yes, I understand. I always used to hunt for a living, but I don't like rifles. I prefer to wait for my prey to fall into my traps like a spider, like flies in a spider web, and then stab them to death. 
I would have never guessed. I thought you had always worked as a tailor. This is something that I would usually keep to myself. Though it seems secrets don't remain such for such long. Oh my gosh, such for such long. Remain such for long in the city. By the way, maybe you happen to know someone who goes by the moniker of Mr. J. Mr. J. Since you are such a well-known figure in town. That's an obvious question. My reputation precedes me wherever I go. Of course, I know some people whose names start with a J. But the list would run many pages. Think about it. Someone who hates you. Or who you don't get along with. I'm a beloved person, Percival. He's giving you the chance to save yourself, maybe. If you tell him who it is, maybe he's like, Alright, I don't have to do this anymore because I know who I need to go really kill. Or not, I'll probably kill you anyway. You're bothering me with the story. Might someone want you dead for any reason? Enough of this nonsense! It was a mistake to come to this dump. As always, good manners get you nowhere. Luckily, I find you as annoying as hell. Ugh, oh, in the stomach! To the side! Oh, with the punch! Uh-oh! I don't think you're escaping, man. Oof! Oh, guess he minds doesn't mind using his fist either, as long as, as long as he got to stab somebody first. He was really getting on my nerves. We shouldn't have come here. This so-called Mr. J better have a good reward for us. Now, I need to find a place to hide this bastard's corpse. Hold one. Is it upstairs? Yep. Oh, it's about to be a cold. Oh, it's a freezer for hanging bodies. Oh boy, it's a cold room. This is the coldest room in the house. The flesh will be better preserved here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, you want a job? What are you doing here? Um, good morning, sir. Sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know where Mr. Elliot has gone? He told me to wait outside. Oh, it's kind of like that, uh, the Sarah, Sasha Baron Cohen character who had that... No, didn't they adopt that boy, though? They did. They did. But he was also kind of a, a pompous dick. Oh, he was more than that. He was an asshole. Uh, excuse my language. But I went outside to the pub downstairs for a moment. There was a great smell coming from there. And I was rather hungry. Then the good lady gave me a pie. It was really delicious. But I don't have any money on me. So... Um, I was looking for Mr. Elliot, but I can't find him. Has he left the shop already? Yes, several minutes ago. Oh, really? Did he mention anything about where he was going? I, I can't pay for the pie otherwise. Didn't tell me anything. I'm sure he will come back to get you, kid. And don't worry about the pie. Let's just say it's on the house this time. Yeah, at least you didn't eat Mr. Elliot. Oh, thank you, mister. You're such a kind man. He's not. I don't think Mr. Elliot is coming back, though. He's probably angry because I disobeyed him. He bought me, and I can be replaced any time. Well, then, find yourself another job. You won't last long without any money in this city. Not everyone is as generous as I am. Can I help here? I'm a fast learner. I'll think about it, kid. I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Oh, so he's going to be the kid. Okay, all right, well. Cool. We know how that ends for the owners of this shop. Hildred may need a little help in the pub. I did say that she needed help, and if we're following any story, annoying blonde guy, achievement unlocked. Wasn't that hard to get that one? I thought we were going to have more to do with it. Like, I thought he was going to come upstairs to the tailor's room and we are going to have to pay attention to the eyes. Like, the notes were going to be clues to... Who you needed to kill, right? And that's kind of how we would get to interact with the game and like just have more interactivity versus just doing the, the this crafting simulator type deal going on here, which is it's fun. But it'd been cool if we read the notes and it was like, hey, he wears a red cap, has blue eyes, and, and maybe a, a hole in the shoe. And then you gotta pay attention to each character that comes in that you kill and then you know preserve the right one. But this works too. This is fine too. Um, what do we have? A pies? I mean, I guess it doesn't truly work for this particular type of game because you kind of killed everybody, you know? So, eventually, our chances would be good that you'd kill the right person. But it still, it would have added something, another layer to the game. Game is fun, though. 
Uh, I guess we can go ahead and start. Oh, we have money, right? Upgrades. We still didn't get any mixed orders. I don't understand that. Maybe that's something we don't control. Maybe it's just the people. I don't know. Uh, what can we do here? I need another oven. Flour. We already have that. Tomatoes. What does that do? Unlock tomatoes and they're placed in the garden. That's 50. Anything else that's really expensive that I could use? I would like to unlock an additional oven, though. Yeah, let's do that one. Kind of interested in that. And, uh... Kind of leave it... Ah, I should have done another mannequin. Yeah, I should have done another mannequin. I wish they would tell me more about what this does. Like, this is, does this increase people coming in? Or is it just... Oh, right, I know what that does. But what does a table do? Alright, I don't think we need to wait. We can just go straight to opening up the shop, honestly. Okay, we'll do this right here. And we'll just get some more, I guess, sausages going. Uh, you need to clean up that blood. This going here. All right. Over here. Still going at it with the sausage bacon. Nice. Come over here. Grab this. Pick this upstairs. And we'll go back over here. Maybe some more food coming in. Hello. I'll call you Jacob. <clears throat> Goodbye. Oh, wait. Sorry. I got to do this first. First. Sorry, Jacob. Sorry, Jacob. Oh, look at the corner there. I didn't even notice old boy hanging up there in the corner. Yikes. I'm guessing he won't be alone up there for long. Okay. We're going to come back down here now. And we can make that three tray thing now, which is really good. It sells really well. Makes us a lot of money. Put that down. What are you doing? Grab this first. Put that over here. Grab this next. Okay. Do your thing. You know where you're going. Come over here. Here. And a steak, please. Over here. Grab this. This. She's got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Come over here now. Get that going. And then we're going to grab some steak. We're going to get this going. Okay. As as I can. Okay, faster. Uh, no, wait. No, no, no. Grab this. Over here now. Do, 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 do. That's done. Come upstairs. Plenty of plot pies. Come back over here. Are you coming to be tailored or are you coming to die? Okay, come and get tailored. Get this sewing. Be the last thing you hear in your life because now I'm coming over here to say hello. I'll call you Michael. Goodbye, Michael. We're gonna come back downstairs. We're gonna go get this. Last clients, but I don't see anybody. All right, that was it. Still no mixed orders, but no bad reputation. That's the important thing. And we got another letter. We just got a letter. All right, I am so happy you managed to kill him. I must confess that I was tempted to join you immediately to enjoy the dish. Then I held back, thinking the banquet would be much more perfect with all the victims. I am sure that this waiting of mine will be rewarded. My father used to say that patience is a fundamental virtue. I never thought I would agree with him. That old bastard was never a good father to me. He used to leave me alone with our servants, only showering me with useless gifts. When all I really needed was him. When he died, I inherited his vast fortune and spent his money diligently. My dear friends, you would have been a guest of honor at all of my parties, re reveling with the richest people in town, delicious food, women, and music. Ah, the good old days. That was a long time ago, though. I was just a boy. Now, my taste for celebration has quietened. Quietened? Quietened. 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 It is a good thing to realize when it is time to calm down. Yes. How does it feel to take someone's life? It must be terrible. I would never be able to do such a thing. Didn't he already say that he used to eat people? I mean, that, that's pretty much taking a life. Even if you didn't directly do it, you, you took lives. There's blood everywhere. Okay, and we can do some upgrades as well. No customers yet, huh? But you can go ahead and put this upstairs. All right, clean up. I mean, you really don't have to wait and take this time period to get everything set up for your next day. You might as well just keep the customers coming in because that's the fun part is trying to manage everything. And if it slows down, it's too easy. It becomes less fun. So I like the kind of chaotic schedule of things. We'll do an upgrade real quick. We'll do um that mannequin. Need a new mannequin in exposition. We've been waiting to do that for a minute there. So we'll get that going. And then uh, we got 25, but I'd rather just save that. I don't think there's anything that's really slow right now. So. Little mixed orders, plus 320 reputation, got some money, let's see, mail number five, 
Oh boy, I remember very clearly the moment this idea formed in my head. The balcony outside my bedroom offers a spectacular view, and when the fog fades, you can clearly see the city's cemetery. One day, I sat staring at it until dusk. I could not sleep at all that night. All I could think about was all that meat going to waste in such a hard and desperate time. It is a shame to leave all that good food to the hungry worms in the ground below. As I read through biology books, I found out that in nature, many animal species eat their own. Apparently, only human beings are used to depriving themselves of this habit, because we have a consciousness and higher thought, and we're smarter than most animals. Not all animals, but most. Intrigued by this idea, I decided to taste human flesh, but procuring a corpse was no mean feat. First, I visited the city hospital. The doctors have a glut of corpses to study and analyze at the moment. I requested a body from an acquaintance of mine, but he refused even after my attempt to grease his palm. It was much simpler to convince the grave digger, though. I managed to score a homeless man whose disappearance was no one, whose disappearance no one would have noticed. I cooked his body in my kitchen, and ever since I tasted that flesh, I came to understand that I could not help but long for more. That's disgusting. Late, however. Later, however, people started to get suspicious, so to my regret, I decided to stop. Now you are here, what a blessing. Must feel like for, uh, serendipity for this individual. I sincerely trust that the banquet will live up to my expectations. That means you want more people because one person does not make a banquet. We have $65. We can finally get tomatoes. I don't see why not. That probably adds some income. Here I am, ready to satisfy my wife's request again. Hildred needs tomatoes for... Oh, that's what's upstairs. For some of the new recipes she has in mind, I can make some room in this attic, in the attic greenhouse for some tomato plants. There's lots of sunlight up there. I've already prepared something, but I need to finish setting it up, setting it up completely. Let's take a look. That flame is really cool. Got like a flame trail. This place stinks of carrion. That's what he's concerned about, carrion smell. But it's looking good at least. Money can really buy anything. Yeah, money really can buy you anything in this world. It will be perfect place. It will be the perfect place to grow tasty vegetables. I can plant tomato seeds in this topsoil container. But first, I need to put some fertilizer in the topsoil. I bought some fertilizer from a dealer at a ridiculous price. How can shit cost this much? I placed it in the bucket near that broken tub. But I'm not spending another penny on it. I'll make some myself next time, which I'm assuming he's going to use a body for. I already have a brilliant idea. I'm using a corpse. The bathtub will be my composter. 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 Remember, man, that thou art dust, and to dust thou shalt return. Yeah, dust. Shit, in this case. Let's use some fertilizer. Hildred hates waiting. Okay. Yeah. Let's put the fertilizer on the garden tomatoes. I see how this is going to get more complicated now. There's going to be a lot of things moving and shaking. Take that, you stupid plants, and hurry up and grow. I shall replenish Hildred's ingredients now. My work is getting stressful. Oh, I almost forgot. I have an appointment. This could be the right time to try out my idea. I'll come back later to check out how things are progressing here. This is a great opportunity for you, my dear client. Take comfort in that. Oh boy. You're about to be compost. I'll make this quick. Of course they want me to interact this time. Doesn't seem that quick, I'll be honest with you. Your flesh will do great things. Some meat will be sacrificed, but if Hildred wants ingredients, this is the compromise we must make. Let's grab the corpse. I maxed out on cloth and put it in the composter. Oh, so that's where we're gonna get the fertilizer. Okay, yeah, makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. I hope it doesn't draw too many flies. It probably will, uh, Hugh Jackman. It will take some time to decompose. Meanwhile, I'll grab those tomatoes. They seem to be ready to harvest. He's gonna have to do a lot more now. Money. A lot more now. I'll send the tomatoes to Hildred using the dumbwaiter. Oh, huh, okay. I tried it before. It should work. Hildred would take them in the kitchen. What a sweet man. Let's take them. New recipes, huh? Perfect. These will last a little. Now I can have some fun cooking new recipes. Oh, boy. 
All right, let's see what she's got here. Oh, she can make ciabatta sandwiches. My hubby's favorite. Are those meatballs? Tomato meatballs? Okay, if you say so, just ground meat and tomatoes, and then you can do the ground meat with the tomatoes and some bread to make the sandwiches. Okay. That. So they do eat meat. That I mean, they eat people because they just confirmed that by saying that. Uh, we're waiting for that to compost. Uh, I guess we can come down here then. Come on. Well, we got all the rooms unlocked now, so there's that. Uh, we can pretty much open up the shop, honestly. Yeah, there's no reason to wait. Let's go ahead and open up shop. Get some things moving and shaking here. Uh, this one takes the most... All right, give us the most recipes. So we'll start with just filling up the grinder here. The grinder. Take this. Get this sold. Nice. Okay. Can't do anything here just yet. Uh, we'll do this. 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 And this. And this. As fast as I can. And this. And you got a sandwich. Put that bad boy in there. You're still waiting on a customer. Maybe do this real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Wait for that. Uh, we'll do, uh, I guess we'll do some pies because we still have some meat here. Like I said, I knew the supply was going to be the biggest problem. In fact, that he can only kill one person at a time is going to be the biggest issue. And that's the issue we're going to start facing here because we don't have enough meat. All those people we let go. Eh, we don't feel too bad about it. We got two good Yelp reviews out of it, I'm sure. Cool. And then you got to have somebody walk around saying, yeah, I visited that place and never had an issue. Because if you don't, then everybody's going to be like, every time somebody goes there, they don't come back. Okay. Blood everywhere. You know what to do. Uh, you got your pies now. Get your pies out. Coo, coo, coo. Can't do anything with that because, well, there's just nowhere to put it. I guess we'll just set this down. And we'll get some more steaks going. As for you, you can start cleaning. Now that that's done, you can replenish your stocks. Cool, plenty of food going on up there. I didn't see how much the sandwiches cost. I should have looked at that, see if that's worthwhile even doing. All right, that's there. So we can now come up here and we can do... Oh, we can't do anything. Yeah, we got to grab some fertilizer and make some tomatoes. Cool, that's planting. He's waiting for to be killed. Need him to die because we need more meat. Yeah, nobody's getting away this time. Gotta stock up. All right, what are you doing down here? Let's see here. Um, you're not making anything, huh? Uh, I guess you can take this upstairs. Whew. Now that's what I call a surprise. I wonder what kind of seeds these are. I found them in a client's pocket. I think I'll plant them in the greenhouse. See what they grow into. You just found some random seeds in somebody's pocket. You just going to put them in some soil? I need to remember to fertilize them from time to time. Unfortunately, I don't know how long it will take to see what they are, but I'm curious. I am curious as well. Let's go grab some fertilizer, right? Okay. All right. I guess one day we'll see what that grows into. I need my hands free before doing that. We're doing... Oh. I didn't know they were already good. Okay, well, we'll throw those down there. I deserve more money. Nice. More seeds growing here. Okay. He's a busy individual now. A lot more to do. Okay, uh, in the meantime, we can get some stuff cooked. Big? Okay, grab this. Should have been doing this earlier. I don't know why I didn't. I like this color. Cool, cool, cool. Serve this up. Yeah, you gotta go.
Nice, 335. Someone made a lot of money. Um, it's pies because we're running out of ingredients here. No, no, pies. Cool, cool, cool. What's going on over here? as we go oh day's over still no mixed orders i don't understand why we're not getting mixed orders what are we doing wrong there 98 dollars though and since we have 98 dollars, i just feel like we just might as well go ahead and unlock him right because it's more expensive let's get all the expensive stuff so then whatever's left is gonna be super cheap to get and easy to get as well all right so we hired an attendant no mail i need a piece of fabric for the sewing machine I feel like we just skipped over something. Hi. Nice to meet you. Percival told me about you. Guy, my name is Joshua. I was Elliot's assistant, but I don't work for him anymore. He disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. Somebody's stomach. People come and go all the time. The kind Mr. Percival told me that I could have worked here last time. Yes, I need a helping hand here in the pub. You'll be paid really well if you follow my instructions carefully. I'll do anything you ask, ma'am. Come with me, I'll explain everything to you. I'm assuming he's just not allowed to go downstairs. This is the expositor. Or the expose. Clients will take what they desire from it. You just need to put every meal I deliver you on here. Fine. I'll send you meals using the dumb waiter back there. Also, she doesn't have to come upstairs anymore, so that eliminates time now. It's pretty easy, right? Yes, I understood. You also need to remember to take orders from tables when we'll have some. Oh, that's what the tables are for. Orders. Maybe that's what mixed orders is about. Ah! I'll cook what they want to eat, and I'll send you everything. If in case you're really busy, prioritize clients at tables, but they are worth more money to us. All right. I'm really fast, Hildred. I can handle this. Last but not least, the gin. We have gin? I would like to buy some gin for the clients in the future. We can serve it to clients at tables when they start to get bored. So that I have more time to get everything done. That's it. Oh, so this game's got a lot more layers that we just hadn't gotten there yet. Of course we had. We're only in, I think I've been recording for two hours, been playing for about two hours. Okay, I can manage this. Do you need any help in the kitchen? No. I was forgetting the golden rule. I forbid you to come into the kitchen. Keep that in mind or I'll fire you. It should probably do a lot more than that. Yeah, literally you'll be fired. Literally fired. Oh, don't worry. I won't come down. Perfect. I like you. We'll do great together. I'm sure about it. Nice. More and more fun. More and more layers. So that's a dumb way. She doesn't have to go upstairs anymore. So now there's a person on each uh, story except for the garden area. Maybe my life is getting a little easier after all. All right. Here we go. They're still not good characters, but the gameplay is still fun. Shh. He doesn't know achievement. All right. Uh, elevators freed. At least they're not wrong. Who did that? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Get some fertilizer, figure out what's going on over here. Boom, boom, boom. Come over here. Those could be potatoes. Maybe I don't need to fertilize them. Maybe that's a waste. 